So I was going from cemetery to cemetery, finding information for new coordinates for a multi-cache. And I finally found the final coordinates for where the cache is actually hiding. And I can't hide it because the whole thing's flooded. I just don't feel like dealing with going to the water. Because I don't know how deep it'll get. And it's not exactly warm out, so I just don't feel like dealing with it today. So I'll have to wait until a different day when the water goes down. It's a little disappointing, but this is actually one of the cemeteries right here that I do go to to get information. So I do find it's like when people were born, when people died. Um, in this one, I had to find when someone died and then how old he was in both the years and the days because the headstone told that. So we had to use that and do some math to find the coordinates which is farther in the trees. And originally I was going to try to go this way. But as you can see, the path is pretty flooded here too. Looks like all the water from this pond or right here is what's feeding this overflow over here. And I usually wouldn't mind trying to walk through the water, but I just don't feel like it today. So, I'll wait. Look at that, 189 for gas. It used to be like 250, 270 around here. It's pretty amazing. We got a sign saying no Cook County taxes. So that's the county that Chicago is in. And they have some ridiculously high taxes. And sometimes we do see gas around 2.30 on a good day, but 189 is really low around here, like super low. You don't, you don't really ever see it under $2. So the geocache that we find is supposed to be right in the spot, but I thought this plaque was pretty cool. About a train robbery in 1924. That's the largest train robbery in U.S. history that occurred near here. Stole more, more than two million dollars in securities and cash. They were caught within a few days. Then, these little tracks right here. On this little road here. But yeah, the last cache that I tried to find though was straight before I got gas. So I actually need to get a ladder to find that one because it's, I believe it's right on top of a electrical box that is way too high for someone to get without a ladder.
I wonder what this little fenced in area was used for. Looks like there's some concrete on the ground, but it doesn't look like it's actually being used for anything. And same thing for where this road leads to. I didn't show it when I was straight by there, but there's a little small bridge like right behind the fence that looks like it's starting to collapse. And from what I could see on Google Maps, there was like a few little roads back there. I'm guessing that um, they were going to make it into a neighborhood, but then they never did and just kind of fenced it off. But and then just beyond that little section is the rest of the naval base. It kind of looks like it's also fenced off from the naval base. I don't think they're using it. I could be wrong. I don't really know that spot. I think it's just a little interesting. So I was trying to look it up. I couldn't really find too much. But I know that this is Wyoming Avenue right here. The streets back there are um, Vermont Avenue and Vermont Court, I believe. And we've got Minnesota right here. Like it goes around. Um, this is Great Lakes. Um, we have like Wisconsin Avenue. We have Washington Avenue. Um, so we have like a bunch of streets named after states. But yeah, the streets back there have actual names. So I'm guessing just whoever built the houses here just never got around to Vermont Avenue. So, can't find too much on it though, other than it has a name. We're in North Chicago right now. And you can even see on here it says Wyoming, because this street right here is Wyoming. 